legal team, as you've been hearing this morning, are preparing for all-out war, beginning with a slew of new lawsuits this week, beginning with one in Pennsylvania tomorrow, along with what our next guest says is evidence of voter fraud. Sydney Powell is General Michael Flynn's attorney. She is fighting on the front lines of this battle as part of the president's legal team. Sydney, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Can you walk good, us through what has taken morning, place Maria. here as you see it? Yes, there has been a massive and coordinated effort to steal this election from we, the people of the United States of America, to delegitimize and destroy votes for Donald Trump, to manufacture votes for Joe Biden. They have done it in every way imaginable, from having dead people vote in massive numbers to absolutely fraudulently comp uh, creating ballots that exist only voting for Biden. We've identified at least 450,000 ballots in the key states that miraculously only have a mark for Joe Biden on them and no other candidate. If you look at Florida, where things were done right, you can see that that's how the rest of the country should have gone. But they also used an algorithm to calculate the votes they would need to flip. And they used the computers to flip those votes from Biden, to, I mean, from Trump to Biden and from other Republican candidates to their competitors also. I think Doug Collins had the race stolen from him. I think uh, John James had his race stolen from him. It wasn't just President Trump. There were many people affected by this. We have got to fight tooth and nail in federal court to expose this abject fraud and the conspiracy behind it and get a recount and audits in every place it's needed, which is, frankly, most of the country. So there are recounts going on right now. We know that in Georgia, you have a list of numbers of ballots with only Joe Biden on the ticket. You say it's 98,000 ballots in Pennsylvania, 80 to 90,000 in Georgia, another 42,000 in Arizona, 69 to 115,000 in Michigan and 62,000 in Wisconsin. Sitting, if this is true, this appears systemic. Where is the Department of Justice? Where is the AG Bill Barr? If this is so obvious, then why aren't we seeing massive government investigations? I don't know. We definitely should be. I mean, we're getting reports of all kinds of fraud. We've got a, getting an affidavit from a postal worker now who talks about having been ordered to backdate ballots. No ballots received after the polls closed on voting day should even be counted. We've got multiple states that didn't even follow the rules of their own legislature. That's a federal constitutional issue. There are at least three major federal issues here that will require the Supreme Court to resolve these this case. And when the okay. votes are really audited and the real votes are counted, Trump will win. He is the president I and he is in charge of this country. Sydney, I want to ask you about these algorithms and the Dominion software. I understand Nancy Pelosi has an interest in this company. Let's take a break. We'll come back with that. I'm talking with Sydney Powell this morning on her legal strategy. Stay with us.